Yeah, I mean, um, it felt like we had momentum for a lot of the game. We were doing the right things. Um, just a couple unfortunate bounces, and um, it happens. And obviously, um, going into playoffs here, we're going to have to deal with that. So um, it's definitely something that we can we can work to tighten up, and sometimes they're unfortunate bounces. But at the end of the day, we still have to keep playing a game. And I felt like we did that for most of the night tonight, um, other than a few breakdowns. But um, I felt like we kept them pretty in check for scoring chances. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it still felt like we were creating chances and stuff. Um, uh, it, it felt like we were on the power play almost every other shift tonight, um, which is not going to be the case come playoff time. But um, you have to be able to capitalize in those scenarios because this is this was a playoff atmosphere game, and we could be playing those guys in the first round. So um, it's uh, we definitely want to want to be able to to put the puck in the back of the net. But I, I still felt tonight we were creating those chances um, from my perspective. As an individual, I still think there's things that I could clean up and um, facilitate a little bit better. But um, yeah, I still think we're doing the right things. It's just getting those better bounces and going in. For both of you, what's the state of your confidence as players in these most recent playoffs and the time of change? I mean, he's been the rock for us all year. Um, we have tons of confidence in his game. Uh, we could have been better for him tonight in front of him. I don't think uh, you know we let some opportunities slip away that we could have helped him out on more. But Throughout the whole season, I mean, he's been there for us, been the backbone of our team, helping us, you know, win games that we maybe shouldn't win. And he's kept us in a lot of games throughout the year. So, um, you know, we have tons of confidence with him. Penalty kill wise, he's he's the you know staple for that. And five on five, I think you know he's a leader back there, and he's been huge for us. Yeah, obviously the same thing. I think there are a few goals tonight. Um, we as a team need to do better in terms of uh, creating less traffic in front of him. I think giving him the best chance that. He can to stop the puck, and I think that's when we're when we're the best of the team, and um, when he's the best as well. So, um, no, he's been a rock for us, and we have uh, the utmost confidence in him going into playoffs. That's for sure. Uh, we were mucking it up there in everyone's feet and skates there for a bit. It was just sort of a mess there, and you know it was unfortunate to uh, get the loose one and try and throw it on net, and it just sort of landed right right where I. You know, shot it off Yossi, and I think it landed right on my stick pretty much, and everyone was looking around. So, fortuitous bounce for sure, but uh, it was nice to get a greasy one there. Is it hard for you guys to not let your mind wander through the whole season with just those two nights and just the confidence that you have? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously it's right there in front of us. We have to be ready, and um, we've been on a little bit of a not so hot streak here, but at the same time, I still think the confidence in the group is very high, and we know what we're capable of. It's just putting all those pieces together so um no we're we're definitely really excited for playoffs obviously we got one more coming up here but um no we definitely uh we've been ready for playoffs for the past few weeks that's for sure um i'm not 100 percent sure right now uh indication is um most likely not um but uh i still have to confirm so um we'll see obviously you want to make sure that uh, guys get rest and stuff like that. We've been managing guys um, here and there, but at the same time, you still want to be able to compete and help the boys out. So. There'll be a handful of guys. What did I see as the shift? Well, I had no problems with their game through two periods, none, zero. Um, I thought we played well, you know, like especially through two periods. We didn't give up hardly any scoring chances. I would say the difference in the hockey game, to be fair, was Kemp's had an off night. Uh, you know, I think we had, you know, a handful of chances to extend the lead on the power play. We get a big power play goal to get the first goal of the game. Um, we have, I don't know, three or four opportunities after that, I think four. And we didn't capitalize. We had a couple of good looks, but not quite dangerous enough to like really dig in and extend that lead. And um, yeah, third period, I thought our urgency wasn't quite where theirs was at the, at the start. 
And then we kind of got going, had some good looks. You know, Kadri walks in all alone. The Kubel Comfer line had a couple of good looks. McKinnon's line, a um, few open looks in the net front off a of four check. So we, you know, we did some good things. We didn't, we didn't score in a few of our chances. Nico walked in once all alone on the mid cut and the entry. Um, but the difference was, you, you know, Kemp's didn't have a great night. It can happen. I'd rather it happen now than in the playoffs. One bad night. He played like our. He played tonight like our team played in Winnipeg. You know, it can happen. Yeah, um, yeah. They were they were looking to make sure it was a goal that it was in the net before the net came off, or at least entering that. And so then it's up to me to, if I wanted to challenge it. You know, I just felt like you know taser was leaning on him a little bit going in there like he gets inside ice and taser leans on him so if you're pushing him into the goalie then it's you're not going to get the call i'll check with the league and see what their thoughts are to make sure we're seeing it right they're usually really honest so they'll either be like unanimous that was uh you know good non-call or they'll be like we were split 50 50 on it but for me at that point in the game i didn't feel like giving him another power play on one that i didn't think was was goal interference Yeah, they do it all the time. They 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 shoot the puck in volume, shoot it. It bounces off the boards or in turn and fire it blind. They just they do that a lot. Well, the one power play, I think they had a tough time getting set. But I thought they were, you know, every time Mac brought it in, we kind of got set up. It's just we didn't. We didn't get real dangerous for the amount of time that we had. You know, we had some, we created some good looks. Like there was one really good power play, I thought, after that, you know, just not dangerous enough. Coach got 119. Probably playing tonight. Yeah, I mean, pretty good. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, go for 121 tomorrow. Yeah, we'll try and whoever we're not bringing, we'll rest them. Yeah, get an extra day before we see our playoff schedule and see what's going on. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah.